app jar mode in Bubble Cloud Launcher. The bottom of the screen is not sensitive. It only detects your movement at the top of the screen. This is to prevent interference with other applications and in particular the cards on the main screen. If you don't use the app drawer for a while, it will retract and return to the watch face unless you have a clock bubble on the app drawer also. You can also engage the app drawer by double uh, tapping at the hotspot. We see the favorites cloud here. Then next to it, we have the brightness control, which you can switch between automatic and manual modes. Then we have the app drawer. Let me make it a little bit less bright so we can see the icons. The icons you see here are from the Rufus icon pack, which you can download and install separately from the Play Store. Uh, the most often used apps can be placed in your favorites cloud. The calendar icon there in the center actually shows you the current date. We also have a log bubble which you can turn off on to prevent any touches uh, to the screen. This, you don't want uh, the watch to do funny things if the screen is, is touched accidentally. Uh, we touch on the lock again and it will release. And here we can see the different app icons sorted now by use frequency. The most often used applications can be seen on the right and then uh, the rest of them. There are other layouts with uh, variable bubble sizes. If that's your thing, you can change your uh, icon pack for different images. It's really up to you how you want to customize it. One important customization is the location and size of the hotspot. This is the setting on the watch. Uh, some of the most important settings can be controlled here. So you can choose which side you want the app drawer to come in from. And you can also adjust the size of the hotspot uh, there at the, at the edge of the screen. You can make it very large or you can make it just barely big enough. Uh, this depends on your watch and on your use of the application. You can also control whether you want the app uh, to use the vibration motor or not and you can turn on and off the info bubbles, the live info bubbles. You can save some battery power by disabling the live info bubbles, like the date bubble that I told you about. And finally, you can also control whether you want the brightness uh, control or not on the screen. If you go lower, uh, many of the other settings relate uh, to the watch face mode, and other things which I talk about in uh, other videos. So let's go with these settings and you can see now I switched the app drawer to come in from the other side of the screen.